what's up guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm back again for another video so today i'm actually here with a special vlog so i'm actually going to brands hatch circuit today and i'm actually going to be testing the team harder volkswagen golf gti um around well brands hatch it's going to be a very exciting day to say the least uh, I've got two sessions out in the car and then I've got a hot lap with the instructor at the end. It'll be very good to say the least, um, try and well, help me get a little bit quicker on track. Um, and also, it'll be one of the fastest ever cars I've ever driven, actually probably the fastest ever car I've driven around a track. So, very exciting. Um, got some big things coming up this month, or, well in the next few months, up towards uh, Christmas, which will be very good. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for them. But for now, we'll concentrate on this vlog. Um, yeah, I'm actually just sat in my car right now. I actually ended up sleeping in the car. As you see, I found a little uh, area that I could just find a little one-off. I'm just demisting my window now. But um, yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty nice sleeping there. I've got the Red Bull and the uh, the caramel chocolate buttons. But yeah, it was pretty comfortable. As you see, new car, by the way. But yeah, it'll be an exciting day, to say the least. I'll try and vlog as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll cut back to you guys when we're at the track then. So guys currently in the garage this will be the uh, car that we'll be in today volkswagen golf gti ignore the fire alarm absolute epic machine it's gonna be for sure the fastest thing i've ever driven but yeah uh it's gonna be interesting to say the least it looks like i'm gonna try and get my gopro in there which will be quite good to say the least but yeah we'll have the instructor in with us um and basically just see how it goes hopefully we can have a uh, an interesting day but yeah let's do this boys so boys, currently 11 o'clock, um, we've been out for our shakedown, um, the instructor drove me around, yeah, he yeah, really pushed it, oh my god, it handles like, I don't know what, so, I can't wait to actually drive it in my first session. There is a uh, few of the Volkswagen Volks here, there's that one there, the team's other one, if it's as you know, so, um, yeah, honestly, I absolutely love Brands Hatch, it's one of my most favourite tracks on the, well, in the country, so, I can't wait to drive it, but, I guess we'll jump straight into the first session then. Let's do this. So, here we go for the first session then. Like I said, this is going to be the fastest car that I've ever raced around a track. So, obviously, I'm all ears on this one. And I know that I'm just going to be taking the driver coach's advice, uh, who was actually Scott. A massive shout out to him. Really helped me out throughout the day. Um, so, yeah, just making our way down the pit lane then. We're just going to cut to going straight out on track then. As we make our way on track for the first time at Brands Hatch then. First time actually ever racing around Brands Hatch myself as well. Uh, obviously as you guys probably know from my channel. I've done a bit of instructing around here. But I've never actually raced it myself. So um, yeah it's going to be very interesting to say the least. As we head down Paddock Hill Bend for the first time then. Honestly like I keep saying in this video. I absolutely love this track. I remember always playing it on the sim rigs. Um, and it's just such a great track to be honest. As you see they're taking a bit of a wider line. Um, obviously. Obviously the instructor in me has always been told to go a bit wider there but it's actually a lot better to tuck it in tighter and a lot earlier so um yeah never less so going around and just taking it nice and easy to start with obviously this is a lot faster and I can straight away tell the power difference compared to what I'm used to usually yep. um but yeah as you see here just running the curves taking Scott's advice as we heading up Obviously, as you can tell, we're using Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. We're not using the full track. Um, it would be epic one day if I could actually race around the full track, as that's what I've always practiced on the sim rigs. But nevertheless, Indy Circuit is still really cool, and it's still got the best features in it, mainly Paddock Hill Bend. Um, as we head down towards Paddock Hill Bend once again, uh, heading in towards Turn 1, a really, really nice corner as well, as you sort of feel it drop down now as you head midway through the corner. It's such a cool corner, that one, and it's probably one of the best corners in the UK, to be honest out of all the tracks as we head down in towards the hairpin once again as you see taking it a little bit tighter this time but still i definitely feel like i can take a much better life through there as you see we're actually catching down some of the other cars here that were going around on the track day too um as we head around to the left hand side of him go past him just on the left i actually noticed that some of the c1s were racing around here as well so it was quite interesting to see the pace difference between the golf gti and the c1s and well the golf obviously is a lot more quicker but yeah it was uh, epic to see that i was getting to drive a car like this for the first time and actually open out a little bit as you can see we've got the gopro angle as well um it's quite hard to see from this angle so i don't use it as much just because obviously the lighting was off inside the car um, that's one thing i really hate about gopros compared to the helmet cam obviously the helmet cam has better lighting but 
Uh, you know, it's still a pretty cool angle to show for inside the car. As you can hear, starting to get some tyre squealing in the audio. Um, as we flick up the fourth, up towards the sweeping left and then tight final corner. Um, and we're going to cut back to the helmet cam. As you see, started getting a lot more better with that, <laughs> well, the line on the hairpin. And actually taking it a lot more quicker now as we head down towards Graham Hill's corner once again. And this was quite interesting because we completely lose the back end there and just slam on the floor and luckily just catch the car just in time. Obviously, because it's front wheel drive, as soon as you feel the back end go, just slam on the throttle and it will correct itself. As you see, we're going to get a, well, different camera angle from it, from the GoPro, as we head in towards Graham Hill's bend. And as you see, the back end goes, so I just slam on the floor as hard as possible, catch the rear end and manage to save it just. And as you can see, Scott improved of that, uh, that car control because he gave me a little round of applause. But yeah, it definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely was a sketchy moment, but we kept it and managed to survive luckily. And yeah, it was a pretty epic experience in first session, to say the least. And I guess it's pretty good that that happened because it kind of gets you used to the car straight away. So yeah, as we head down to start another lap, heading towards turn one. Yeah, I was slowly starting to get used to racing this car around a bit more quicker now. Um, still had some improvements to do and I was still all ears with Scott giving me advice. Uh, through Paddock Hill Bend, I was actually keeping it in fourth as that's what I got told and to be fair that's probably the best one. Through the hairpin, you probably could go down to second but I was going down to third. Uh, just because that's the advice Scott was giving me. Um, so yeah, it seemed to work away though coming out the hairpin. Um, I definitely think maybe giving second a go probably would have been a good idea. But you know what, third was still working. As you see, kind of missed the apex and got massively wide, which was an ideal whatsoever. Um, but as you can see, just catch up to another car though. Yeah. Uh, we are coming to the pit side, as you can see Scott giving us the indication to come in. Um, yeah, first session, my initial reaction. Amazing car to be honest, absolutely love the first session and can't wait to jump back out in the second session. Uh, it's definitely a lot more faster than the C1s obviously, as you can yeah, imagine. You. Um, but yeah, I think I'm slowly getting used to it now and I definitely think second session yeah, I will yeah, go a little bit quicker. Um, but I guess now I will head back to you yeah. guys with me in the pits and I will let you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Cool. So boys, just had our first session, <laughs> you may have saw some interesting stuff happen, it was a hell of an experience to be honest, um, yeah, can't believe I almost spun it, just coy though, um, managed to, well, use my knowledge that I learned from Josh at BBC, massive shout out to him, just slam on the floor, correct the car, obviously front wheel drive, slam on the floor, where the rear's going, it'll catch it, so yeah, just caught it, luckily, almost went for the grass, but nope, stayed off, managed to keep it alive, luckily, I'm hoping the GoPro worked, because I've just checked it, and it looks like, it looks like it didn't record, but I'm not sure, I'm hoping it did, but yeah, if not, I've got obviously, then we can Okay, so you probably saw from that. But yeah, honestly man, what a day it's been so far. Um, I guess we'll get ready for session two in a second then. See how that one goes. So here we go for the second session then, just making our way down the pit lane then. For the first lap, when I come out the pits, I'm actually going to leave the raw audio one and let you guys enjoy the engine sounds of the first lap. So yeah, I will cut back to you guys after the first lap. Enjoy.
so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that first lap with the raw audio uh, from the GoPro. Yeah, it was definitely a pretty decent first lap and I definitely really enjoyed this session a lot more than the first session. I really felt more at home with the car and definitely felt like I had uh, taken Scott's advice more and definitely got a lot more quicker. As you see, we actually have a Catrium just ahead of us and throughout this whole session, I was pretty much catching him to be honest. I, I even got past him by the end of the session which was very good to say the least. Um, as you can see, uh, Scott just gave me a little bit of coaching as well, just showing me little points of where I get a bit quicker. Um, obviously after the first session I spoke to him a little bit of seeing where I can go a little bit quicker and he gave me some advice so yeah I really appreciate that and I was trying to put it to good use. Um, and yeah as you can see it's clearly working because we're keeping up with the Catrium and like I said eventually actually got past him which was really good to say the least. Uh, heading down the start from the straight, starting another lap now as we head down towards Paddock Hill Bend once again. As you can see, I'm just looking a lot more comfortable with the car, just braking a lot there, turning a lot more smoother, not being as much aggressive on the wheel, and just getting the gear changes a lot more better as well. As we head down towards the hairpin, once again flicking and for taking that hairpin very nicely once again, and getting on the power a lot more early at this time. Um, and yeah, I was trying to use as much of the track as possible. Obviously, it's only a track day, so there's no pressure. I didn't need to be absolutely bombing it around. Um, but like I said, I was just using it to get used to the uh, the car around Brian's hatch. As you see, just getting past a radical there who was just on his in lap, so he was just slowing it down there. Um, and that helped us get a lot more closer to the Catrium as well, which is very nice. Flipping it down the third, coming around the final corner. It's a very nice corner here, as you can see the massive building on the left hand side of the track. Um, and in person, it's just a so surreal so experience, and I absolutely loved it to say the least. As we head down to start another lap, as we're catching the Catrium once again, we actually got past one of the Ford KAs there, which was just on the right hand side of the track. Um, yeah, those are pretty cool to watch around, going around the track. That might be something that I look at for next year as well, as well as the C1s. Um, because I think from what I've seen, they're actually quite cheap to run as well, which is really good. Um, as we head in towards the hairpin once again, just keep up with the Catrium. And trying to actually follow the Catrium's lines as well, see what he was doing compared to me. Obviously, the Catrium and the Golf GTI are completely different. Uh, setup wise and driving styles, but you know, it's still pretty cool to follow him and just seeing what he was doing compared to me. Um, it'd be epic if one day I could try a catering, but nevertheless, so just keep him with him for now, flicking it down the third, coming around the final corner once again. Um, and as we get a very good exit, here, trying to let it run out as wide as possible. I definitely think I could have let that run out a lot more better and actually get on the power a lot more earlier, but nevertheless, so still doing pretty decently. And as you can see, this is the point where the cage room is starting to think about letting me through in towards turn 1 as he's not shaking me off. Um, coming into turn 1 then, he goes over to the right side of the track here and this is where we go to the left and get past him very nicely just in towards the hairpin. As we break a little bit later, then him flick it down a third and just go a little bit wider just leaving him space on the inside. Obviously, I don't want to completely cut him off. As you see, we have a Porsche behind us now as well. So I do actually eventually let him back through and the cage room goes past both of us as well. So... Um, yeah, it was very good to say the least so and I really enjoyed that session to be honest um, But now we are actually coming to the pits this lap as we finish our 15 minute session out on track Yeah, very good experience and absolutely love driving this car around this track Obviously like I said I really love Vans Hatch and to try well, a golf and a car with this much power around a track like this is just absolutely insane to say the least um, and yeah, just coming to the pits now, just ending off the day on a high to be honest, gained a lot more pace in this car and definitely felt a lot more comfortable. I definitely think I'm going a lot more quicker if I get some more practice and more driver coaching. But now I'm going to let you cut to the raw audio so you can listen to the advice Scott gives me for next time I jump in the car. Okay. Go on. Go on, Advice there? What I would do is, I'd, if I was you and we, I was sort of race coaching you, yeah, yeah. I'd go for later turnings, yeah, yeah. for cleaner exits. Okay. With a race car, with a big old dip on it like this, you've got to get that dip wound up, yeah, yeah. locked up, and then try not to be coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's something that comes over time, yeah. but with one nice, smooth, linear, application of throttle, you wind the dip up, you'll get my wheel spin, not be too crazy, but once you're in it and you're in it once, you get these big, big, clean, fast exits okay. that are hard to race against. Yeah. That's what I'd work on. Yeah. You start thinking about, on your way to a corner, you start thinking about what you need to do in order to set up 
Okay, yeah. Alright, oh, thank you, mate. Anytime, well done. Good boys, that's me all done. Done both my sessions. Incredible experience, honestly. Absolutely loved it. Um, just on the pit wall actually right now, watching the cars go around. Um, yeah, it was great fun. Here we go. So we've got some of the sea work. But yeah, great fun. Really enjoyed it. Thank you Team Hard again. Um, really appreciate it, you know, giving me the opportunity to do this. Absolutely loved it, to be honest. Um, yeah, it was only two sessions, but oh my god, what an experience for me. Van Cat is one of our most favourite tracks. Okay, like I said. So yeah, absolutely loved it. I'm gonna leave this video here though. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. But thanks for watching and goodbye.